Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. This week I had a lot of fun fishing the jetties and inlets in the Rockaways. The water is pretty chocolatey right now. The storms and rain have definitely stirred everything up quite a bit. But there is still a ton of fish around. The water temperature is like 72 degrees. And it's it's getting popping out there. There's a lot of activity. Um, I had to switch up the color and lure choices quite a bit the past few days. Just to kind of figure out what the bait fish was. I figured out a little piece to the puzzle. So that's what they're eating. All right. I'm not too far off. And I kind of found that spearing, glass minnows, a little bit of white anchovies, however y'all want to call it. But little rain bait fish is kind of what everyone, all the fish are foraging on right now. At least that's what I saw the fish, you know, coughing up the Spanish mackerel, the blue fish, and the fluke all coughed up spearing. So I saw some schools of bunker offshore and some big fish working them, but near the jetties and the inlets, it was all pretty much small, small bait. But during the middle of the day when the sun was overhead, I definitely started experimenting with different colors because I was having trouble, and including the savage sand eel and dark colors. And I found it to be pretty effective with the clear overhead sun. I'm pretty bad at clear midday, uh, clear sky fishing, but I saw a little pattern working with the dark tones. I'm definitely going to be experimenting more with silver and olive kind of mixes and blends when it's clear sky midday. If I can sit through the sun, I don't know. It's, it's tough to kind of stand out in the sun when it's like that, but it's definitely something I want to experiment more with. And the fluke fishing was great, but mostly all shorts, a lot of shorts. I managed to get one nice fluke, but a lot of shorts mixed up. You can see the, the big fluke, I almost lost them. We got sandwiched in the rocks, resting like a little little fluke rock hot dog or something. But um, it was nice. It was a nice fluke. I was pretty pumped on that one. But uh, I tossed it back. It was probably a keeper but I, I tossed them back. I'd love to keep fish on these adventures, but it, it takes me about an hour and a half bike ride to get to the Rockaways and carrying a backpack or even bike racking a cooler or a vice is just, just too tough. So I just do catch and release and I don't really even bother to measure them, but I totally give fish to people if, if you're fishing next to me and... Uh, Where did you want him? Oh, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish you said something. I totally would have given it to you. Every once in a while, I catch a sea robin that looks a little bit different. I try not to put any sea robins in these videos anymore, but this one was cool. It has like some blue tones to it. But if you're trying to get some robins, there's a ton of them out there. I got a pretty large sundial on this trip. I think this is the biggest one of the year for me. You know, they're kind of a new species for me of catching in larger numbers. I, uh, it kind of feels like you're reeling in a piece of paper or something. They really don't put up any fight at all, but it's, they're cool looking and, you know, they have no teeth or anything. They're pretty much harmless. So really fun to catch. And there's also a ton of porgy everywhere uh, at high tide, you know, you can find them next to the rocks. They're probably digging for crabs and barnacles and... I bet if you use a jig and Asian crabs, you could catch a ton of them and have a lot of fun doing it. I bet clams would probably work too, but the Asian crabs, you know, they're free. You can dig them under rocks, and uh, it's definitely what they're probably going for at high tide around those rocks. But there's still a lot of bluefish around, including very, very small ones. So I don't know if I would call these snappers, but they're definitely in that size class range. Um, there's There's a lot of them around, so definitely fun to catch and mixed in in the surf is some schoolie striped bass as well um, they're not very big but I want to guess these ones are going to be around for the whole summer and they were hugging pretty tight to the structure probably hiding from the sharks and you know there's a lot of sharks around I think with the water temperatures being you know 72 and rising it's got the sharks kind of coming pretty close to shore I saw a lot of them and working pretty shallow water and uh, even a thresher. So 
There's definitely a lot of different species of shark out there right now. There's also a lot of Spanish mackerel around. I had a tough time connecting with them at first, but I think my retrieve was off. A uh, really quick burn retrieve uh, with an epoxy jig. I think the one I caught this on was an uh, olive color. Um, worked the best. Just, you know, cast and retrieve pretty quick. Keep it in the top part of the water column. And that's what I caught this one on. But there are some pretty heavy storms rolling through. I sat through them and um, it was pounding hard. But I got some quick shots with the Spanish mackerel in slow-mo and then... Uh, Kind of call it a night. And, you know, despite the weather that's been going on and it being really hot out there when it is nice, uh, I think if you can make some adjustments and experiment with lure choices, there's a lot of big fish around and it's a good time to be out there. 